The Green Hornet. He hunts the biggest of all game, public enemies that even the G-men cannot reach. The Green Hornet. His faithful valet Cato, Britt Reed, daring young publisher, matches wits with the underworld, risking his life that criminals and racketeers within the law may feel its weight by the sting of the Green Hornet. Ride with Britt Reed as he races toward another thrilling adventure. The Green Hornet strikes again. Hurry, Cato. We're about to blow the building racket sky high. Stop work on this job. It's ordered. Hey, he's Carlotti's man. I'm a no worker here. You said. We're taking an awful chance, Pelton. If Carlotti finds out about this, he'll break me. Look out, it's a bomb. <laughs> Can I come in? Is Mr. Fletcher... Oh, it's you, dear. Why aren't you home? I'm a builder, honey. I've got a dozen houses here that must go up. But you're not a watchman. Mm, well... Look at me. Has anything else happened? Anything else? What do you mean? Oh, please don't. I'm your wife. You can't fool me with talk. Yes, the watchman did quit. Because of Carlotti? <laughs> What's Carlotti got to it do with Carlotti, it? It is Carlotti, isn't it? Now, look, honey. Building's a man's job. He's been threatening you, hasn't he? Just talk. He has, I know it. No racketeer can bust me. So, that's it. I suspected it when one of your houses caught on fire. I can't prove it was Carlotti. Tell me, what's Carlotti after? What's he doing? What's he after? He's a racketeer, isn't he? He's trying to force builders to pay out money to him. Is that why you had that fire? Because you wouldn't pay? I'm not going to pay. But the other builders, what about them? They're paying him. They're afraid of him. Afraid to talk. I... I'm afraid, too. Now, don't you worry. Carlotti's tough, but the cops will get him. Sooner or later, they'll get evidence. If something doesn't happen to you first... I wish I had some proof, that's all. Dear, why not pay him? It isn't much, is it? No. He may have the rest hogtied, but not me. You're going to continue taking chances? I'm an honest builder. The others are honest, too. Yet they've joined Carlotti's association. No racket can rope me in. What's that? That? Telton's lumber truck. Delivering lumber at midnight? Yeah. Now, wait here, honey. I'll be back. Back here. I got your lumber. Well, thanks, Pelton. You're a right guy. I didn't want to get you in trouble with Kalati, too. That's why I had you deliver late at night. I hope you'll lick him, Fletcher. I sell lumber to the builders and his association, and I can't afford to lose the business. If Carlotti knew, he'd force them to buy from someone else. Yeah, he got him scared to death. Not one of them will talk. Mm, Carlotti's clever. Nothing can be pinned on him. Yeah, but the head's your nerve, Fletcher. Well, he won't get me. The Daily Sentinel's been talking about him plenty, but nothing definite. Listen, Pelton. Maybe I'm courting disaster, bucking Carlotti and his hoodlums. No maybe about it. If Carlotti fails to bulldoze me, those he's intimidated may get their nerve back. 
Carlotta can't buck the whole bunch. Not if they all follow your lead, Fletcher. Look, look there. Huh? Hey, there's someone in my truck. Come on. What's going on? You one of Carlotti's gangsters? I ordered that lumber. It stays. I don't work for Carlotti. Who are you? That mask, you. You're the Green Hornet. There you are. What the? That car. Don't try to follow me. It's useless. All right, Miss Red? All fine, Cato. You picked me up perfectly. No mistake. They know who I am. Yes, sir. We've been watching Fletcher's building job for the past several nights, Cato. I knew we'd get something eventually. What, Miss Fred? You saw those two men and the woman? Who is she? Well, she's Mrs. Fletcher, the builder's wife. She was trying to persuade him to give in to Carlotti. She was. Yeah, she was thinking only of her husband's welfare, Cato. She wanted him to give in before Carlotti got tough. Is he going to, Mr. Fred? Cato, from what I heard tonight, I think Fletcher is heading for a lot of trouble. Trouble? Carlotti's a racketeer. Central's been saying so for quite a while. What I heard tonight proves that Carlotti is cutting in on the builder's. He's out to get them all, one by one. Can he do that, Mr. Red? He's after Fletcher right now. And unless the Green Hornet can stop it, Fletcher is Carlotti's next victim. Publisher hangout, sister? It's the publisher's office. Hey, Casey, I, I didn't know you had a brother. So Casey's your sister, huh? Well, I'm glad to meet you. My name's Axford. Yeah? He's not my brother, you big nug. But I just heard him say it. Me? I call all the dames sister. Well, don't. Not with me. Oh, now, nah, take it easy. My name's Carlotti. Uh, is that your boss's office? You can't go in there. Sure I can, sister. Sure. No, you don't. Didn't I tell you my name? I said you don't go in there. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. No hard feelings. I'll find out if Mr. Reed will see you. Yes, Miss Case. A, um, a man to see you, Mr. Reed. Has he an appointment? No, Mr. Reed. He just dropped in. He says that... Yeah, that's it, sister. His name's Carlotti. Carlotti, eh? Miss Case, you tell Mr. Carlotti to wait a few minutes. I'll see him very soon. Very well, Mr. Reed. Yes, very soon. Hey, boss, did I get that name right? Mm, I think so. Carlotti's here to see you, Carlotti? I admit, it is a bit strange. Strange? Say, after the way we've been going at that mug in the Sentinel, I'm surprised he's still in the state. The Sentinel hasn't mentioned names, Lowry. You don't need a signpost to see the road, boss. That guy spells racket ever since he stuck his nose into jail. Yes, he is an ex-convict. All I hope is he plays a return engagement. Lowry, we know Carlotti's trying to build up a racket in the building business. He's got more than a dozen of those builders buffaloed already. But we can't prove that. Oh, that word. Why does it keep popping up all the time? All we know about Carlotti is that he started a builder's uh, protective association. Yeah, to protect them against his own hoodlums. How about that fire this builder named Fletcher had? Fletcher hasn't joined, has he? I don't know. Unless the cops pin something on Carlotti, he's going to have to join. I see. Yes, sir? Carlotti, is still out there, Miss Case? Yes, Mr. Reed. Send him in, please. I'm rather curious to know why he's here. <laughs> Those articles in the Sentinel. He's probably burned up. Well, undoubtedly, but he won't discuss them directly. He'll lead up to it, I'm sure. Hey, Mr. Reed. Hi, Mr. Reed. What can I do for you? Who's this mug? Ain't I seen you before? Sure you have. Around your place. Yeah? He's my ace reporter, Carlotti. I sent him. Mm, funny he didn't ever talk to me. I was there for information, Carlotti. I knew I'd never get it from you. Suppose you tell me your business, Carlotti. Why are you here? Me? A couple of things, Mr. Reed. We're not in the market for any protection. Never mind, Lowry. Well? In the first place, I come to put an ad in your paper. An ad? Yeah. For my Builders Protective Association. Uh, we're making a drive for members. I'll bet you are. But before I give it, yeah, there's a little matter I want to straighten out. You're not referring to the Sentinel's articles by any chance. Yeah, that's it. How did you know? Tell him, boss. You're psychic. You object to those articles, Carlotti? Well, it's this way. Somebody's got the wrong angle on me. I come around to straighten you out and to give you some business. All right, Carlotti, you've stated your business here. Now I'll give you the answer. There's only one answer. Stop them articles and you get the ad. And uh, if the Sentinel goes ahead with the series? Hey, I'm offering you dough. That's all you can understand, eh? Money and uh, force. What do you mean? Do you need a gun to build up your uh, protective association? Huh? That's a shoulder holster you're wearing. So what? I got a permit. Are you going to take my ad or ain't you? The answer is no. What? We believe you're running a racket. We'd like to prove it, but so far we can't. But get this, Carlotti. We're going to keep after your fake outfit until we do. Oh, I'm wasting my time, huh? You are. 
Now, if there's anything else we can do... You know I can sue you. That's your privilege. Good day. Why, you... I said good day. Hey, Reed. Holy cow, did you see the fire? What fire, Ashman? Right here, out the window. Hey, boss, that looks like a three alarm. That's across the river. Check on it, Laurie. You don't have to read. It's Pelton's lumber yard. Are you still here, Carlotti? I thought I told you to leave. I sure I ain't hanging around. Just one moment. Yeah? How do you know it's Pelton's lumber yard? He has to do a little business with one of the members of the association. Not anymore, he won't. You can see the flames from here. Big, huh? You don't sound surprised, Carlotti. Don't I? <laughs> Anything else you want to say before I scram out of this joint? I've rejected your ad. That's all. Okay, Reed. Hey, boss, what was that rat grinning about? It wouldn't amaze me in the least if Carlotti had something to do with that place. Huh? That's strong stuff. You heard him. Pelton sells lumber to Carlotti's victims. But Carlotti's in the building racket. What's, what's he doing, branching out? Did you ever hear of a racketeer who didn't, Larry? Oh, that's it. Once a racket gets underway, it keeps building up until it's smashed. Golly, Reed, I can see the fire engines from here. Ain't you going to send somebody to cover that fire? Of course. Get going, Larry. Okay, boss. See if we can dig something up. Oh, mention Carlotti's name. Don't worry. I'll shout it out loud. Holy crow. Hold on, Dave. One side, you big lug. This is an assignment. Well, sure it is. What's wrong, Axford? Ah, oh, Reed. You ain't going to make me miss the fun, are you? Fun? The fire. Super snakes. You know I love to go to fire. This one wasn't built to amuse you. Oh, I don't know if we can spare you, Axford. Ah, oh, golly, Reed. I know I'm sort of valuable around the newspaper. All but... right, Michael. We can spare you this once. You, you mean it's okay? I can go with Lowry? Yes, but get going before I change my mind. Golly, I'm going to a fire. Did you hear that, Lowry? A regular three alarm blaze. Well, come on. It'll be out before we get there. I'm coming. Super snakes. It's some blaze. It is, Axford. A bigger blaze than you think. Old place, going up in flames. Now, ain't that too bad, Pelton? You, eh? One of Carlotti's boys. Funny you're being here. Me? I like fires. Ain't it a shame? Now we'll have to have our builders buy someplace else. I can't prove it, but I'll bet Carlotti had a lot to do with this. Like you say, Pelton, you can't prove it. Now, you know, you hadn't ought to sold lumber to that Fletcher guy. Oh, that's it. I didn't say so, did I? I don't need a diagram. Well, hope your insurance covered it. <laughs> 10,000 feet of prime lumber up in flames, and I can't prove a thing. Well, how about it, Pelton? I'm Lowry from the Sentinel. How did it start? I, I can't be sure. Did you ask the fire marshal? So for his name, sir, what do you think? He says he can't tell not. The way this is going up, there won't be anything left. Golly, Lowry, you don't think it was done deliberately? Oh, shut up, expert. Look at it. There won't be a stick left. Say, hey, Pelton. Yeah? You do some business with the builders who belong to Carlotti's Association? Well, yes, I do. Is that all you can say? What else do you expect me to say? Just wondering. If I could help you, I would. But even if Galati were mixed up in this, you couldn't prove it? No. I'm sure of it. I've had enough experience with Galati to know that. He's one guy that covers his tracks. Yes? Lowry, boss. What about it, Lowry? You get anything from Pelton to the fire marshal? Uh, not a thing, boss. Only suspicions. We can't print suspicions, Lowry. Nothing on Carlotti, huh? Nope. No headline in that, is there? Okay, Lowry. We'll handle the rewrite. Just a plain, ordinary fire. Yeah, plain, ordinary fire, huh? Not by a long shot. But if there's no other way to pin it on Carlotti, it's up to the Green Hornet. <laughs> Immediately after leaving the office, Britt Reed went to his apartment, where he spoke to Cato, his valet, and the only living man to know him as the Green Hornet. Pelton's lumberyard was burned to the ground. There's the headline on the Sentinel. Carlotti's spotters must have seen that new lumber at Fletcher's development and checked. And that means Fletcher is next. You go out now, Mr. Bates? The Green Hornet's going out tonight, Cato, to check on a few details. When the time comes, Carlotti's racket is going to run into the Green Hornet. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Green Hornet adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a moment.
Now to continue our story. While the Green Hornet secretly checked on the Carlotti mob, a cab driver named Patsy Petrocelli picked up a man and his wife. Now's my chance to tell you something, honey. We're headed for trouble. You you mean that fire at Pelton's? Does that mean Carlotti knows you got lumber from him? Carlotti knows. This time, he won't just make those indirect threats. He's out to force me into his building association. How did he find out? The Green Hornet was there last night, remember? Oh. Oh, darling, I wish you'd stop. Pay him his protection money. It's better than... The Green Hornet and Carlotti both. Well, I started this and I'm finishing it. Building's my business and no racketeer... It's they who'll do the finishing. Carlotti and the Green Hornet. I'm going ahead with that house if it's the last thing I do. It... It may be a tombstone over your grave. Now, take it easy, honey. But those criminals, Carlotti, the Green Hornet. Oh, please, don't do it. I'm sorry, honey. We're ordinary citizens, Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher. We have a right to live, to do business on the level without interference from rackets. And nothing's going to stop me. Never mind, Casey. I got it. Now, expert, I'm Mr. Reed's secretary, not you. But you're busy with that stuff. And it's late already. Hello? Michael Ashford, general assistant and bodyguard to Britt Reed, publisher of the Daily Center newspaper oh, with members. Huh? Who's speaking? Patsy! Now listen, you little sod off of a cab driver. I'm a busy man. I ain't got time to. Holy cow! What's that? Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Sure, sure, darling, sure, I believe you. Yeah. I'm listening. Suffering snakes. Patsy, you recollect what I called you a half wit? Well, I take it all back. You got as much brains as me. Nah. Can you imagine, Casey? Golly, I give the little half pint a compliment, and in claims I insulted him. <laughs> what you did was practically the same as calling him a nitwit. Golly, that's what Patsy said. All right, expert. What did he call about? Oh, holy crow, can you imagine me forgetting? Patsy had a passenger in his cab. Hmm, business must be picking up. You don't get it, Cassie. It was the Green Hornet. What? Patsy's passenger? Sure not. They was talking. Who? Patsy and his passenger? Golly, Cassie, sometimes they think you're a bit slow at the uptake. Oh, expert, you big lug, will you explain before I die of curiosity? Ah, uh, that's what I'm doing. Now, listen. A fella named Fletcher was in Patsy's cab tonight. This fella said that Carlotti did the job in Pelton's lumberyard. Why, everybody thinks so, but there's this no... This Fletcher must know, because he said Carlotti was coming after him next. Well, what's all this got to do with the Green Hornet? He was buttoned in on Fletcher, too. Suffering snakes, Katie. Can you see Reed's face when I bring it the Hornet all captured? You? Well, wasn't I a detective on the force? Uh, where's Lowry? Expert, you big lug, where are you going? Holy crow, you're acting sicker to the thicket, Casey. We're going over to Fritz's place. We're going to get the green hearted if we have to wait for him to doomsday. Across the city from the Daily Sentinel building, a sleek black car raced through the night. At the wheel was a mysterious figure, his eyes gleaming through a mask, the Green Hornet. Bit Reed's hand guided the black beauty to a deserted alley behind the racketeer's hangout. Wait here, Cato, where you can watch. I understand, Mr. Bates. I'm going to need your help in a few minutes. You know when to follow me. Rick Reed made his way cautiously to the open window next to the door. Flattening his back against the wall, he listened to the conversation within. Have you got the bomb, Turk? Right here, Carlotti. I got a tip from one of the boys. We're blasting Fletcher's house before it's built. Tonight? Right now. Now I made it just like you said, with a five-minute fuse. Sure. I want this pineapple planted just right, see? I ain't taking no chances on somebody's throwing arm. What's making you so jumpy? Is it the Green Hornet? What do you know about the Hornet? It ain't no secret. Pelton spilled it when his lumber yard burnt down. Ah, talk, that's all it was. Sure, sure. Come on. Take this bomb and plant it like I told you. Is the Hornet cutting in on Listen, our Listen, Turk. Nobody cuts in on me, see? I handle plenty of guys, and I don't scare easy. When I see that Hornet, I'll... You'll what, Carlotti? What the... You... You... Mask. Listen, Hornet, I, I was just talking. How much is your take, Carlotti? Why, I... You can't muscle in on us, Hornet. You expect me to talk with a gun pointing at me? You don't have to talk. Huh? I know your whole racket right down to the ground. You're a rat. And I don't like rats. Who you call Shut up, you... You don't have to poke that cat in my ribs. You said you wouldn't cut anybody in. So what? Still feel that way? I don't know who you are, Hornet, and I don't give a hang. But it still goes. I'm giving you a warning now. 
The bigger the racket, the sooner I get in on it. Yeah? Well, maybe we can talk about it. Get your hand away from that shoulder holster. Me? Don't reach for a gun. I'll let you have it. No, you don't. The lights. He ain't turned out the lights. Get him, boss. I, I can't see him. Where is he? He's around someplace. Blast this darkness. I'll stop. Call out him. He got me. Yeah. Do What's the matter, Turk? Watch him. He can't breathe. Where are you? I drop that gun. Let's go. I said drop it. Try it. Let's go. That's better. My wrist, you. You broke There's it. Nothing wrong with you. Just a tap from a gun butt. Hey, you, you finished off, Turk? Yes. And you're getting a dose of the same. You can't. Take it down. <laughs> Gas my throat. Talking to each other in that darkness, so I couldn't help but know where they were. Who's that? I heard noise. Are you all right? Yeah. Well, I turn on the light. I thought it was you, but I couldn't be sure. Are they? They'll be unconscious only for a short time. Here, you help me with this table, Cato. Yes, sir. The bomb is somewhere around. There. Put it on this table, Cato. I have it. Very heavy. Now these. Why are they? Fools, Cato. We haven't much time. Those rats must go ahead with their bombing. But, Mr. Bear. I said they're going ahead. And we're going to see that they do. I don't understand. This bomb is going to be planted in Fletcher's house, just as they figured. Now, you're a chemist, Cato. What's inside this bomb? I have to roll. All right, we'll open it up. Careful. I don't want any of our fingerprints on it. Under Britt Reed's direction, Cato worked swiftly, using his knowledge of chemistry to advantage. A half hour later, Britt Reed spoke. Ah, that's fine. Your handkerchief. Yes, sir. They mustn't suspect a thing. Oh, oh, oh. Lordy's coming, too. Gather up those tools, Cato. We're leaving. Hurry, Cato. Into the car. All right? Let's go. Two moments later, Carlotti and Turk recovered from the effects of the gas and examined the bomb. It looks okay to me. He ain't touched this bomb, boss. I ought to know I made it. Green Hornet, huh? <laughs> he gassed us and then got scared. Okay, Turk, on your way. Huh? You want me to go through with it? You heard me. The Hornet thinks he can bulldoze me, but I don't scare easy. Plant this bomb. bomb if I don't break my neck first. Put it here, Tate. Huh? What Here's the... the best place. You got a nerve, Hornet. If you're gassing me and Carlotti. Next time, you won't get off so easy. I do as I say. How do I know you ain't told the cops? Would I be here? The cops want me more than they do you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'm interested in this racket. I don't need the police. Yeah, no sense ruining it for everyone. Now, plant that bomb. Now, listen. Let's talk. Get busy. Okay, you don't have to get tough. Here's a match. The fuse is burning. Let's grab. Out that way. Out the back. Hurry before it explodes. I tell you, Lowry, I seen a light in there. In a half-built house? Don't be crazy, Axford. I'm going in to see. Axford, if you drag me on a wild goose chase, I'm... Golly, I told you. It ain't no wild goose. It's the green harnet. I got the tips fed from party. You're bad enough without dragging in that screwy cab driver. Ah, the little blister ain't so bad. If you don't let him get in your head. Now, wait a minute. Suffering snakes, for all we know, the hornet may be in there right now. If you saw a light and I said if, the hornet's gone by now. If it was the hornet in the first place. I'll find out soon enough. You stick out here to cover the retreat. Okay, it's your funeral. Ah, golly, he's hard to convince. Wait till he sees me walking out of here with me fist in the hornet's collar. Then he'll... Sounds like somebody hissing. Like a snake. Ah, there ain't no snakes around here. Holy crow. I see it now. A splitter fuse. It's a bomb. I gotta get it. I gotta be falling. Oh, was there, Carlotti? What are you talking about? Where you been? You should have been back a half hour ago. The Hornet, I had the bomb in my hand. What? The Hornet was at Fletcher's place? Ain't I telling you. Boss, when that guy comes back, you better play ball with him. He's tough. Did he stop you? Huh? Snap out of a Turk. Did that bomb go off or didn't it? Sure, it went off. Soon as I let the fuse, I, I scrammed out. I heard it go off. Then what are you yapping about the Hornet for? I told you, he was right in the spot. Did he try to stop you? No, he told me where to plant the bomb. Hey. I don't get that lug, Carlotta. Why didn't you head right back here? Because I couldn't. The Hornet, huh? Yeah, he clipped me on the jaw as soon as the blast went off. Okay. He said he was going to cut in on me. When he shows up, we'll be ready for Who's him. Who's that? 
It ain't a hornet. I'll take a look. What's this? What's the matter? Oh, your gun, boss. It's the cops. The cops. We better scram. Oh, they ain't got nothing on us. Keep them up, Cody. You rat. Plant bombs, will you? Hey, what is this? I don't know what you're talking about. Axford was in that house, in Fletcher's house, when the bomb went off. So what? We ain't got nothing Don't here. put that bomb there. You're crazy. We can prove it. Oh, no, you're lying. Lying, are we? Axford went in. He saw that bomb. Yeah, too bad. He ain't alive. Blown a bit, huh? And you think we done it? Never mind acting smart, Cody. Where's the guy the class of that bomb? Leave me out of We it. got him, Axford. Axford? What you said? I thought that pineapple went off. How come this guy ain't blasted to bits? I'll tell you why, you yellow livered skunk. Because the bomb you heard went off in the vacant lot next door. What? A bomb in a vacant lot? Yeah, there wasn't enough powder in the bomb at the house to fill a firecracker. That's right. The bomb was intact. And what's more, it had your fingerprints all over it. What? Yes, fingerprints. Yours and his. You're through. You and your whole racket. They got us, boss. That blasted green hornet. He emptied the powder out and set a bomb off in that vacant lot. Well, you ain't stopping me. Look out, Lowry. Got the gun. Don't stop him. Break for the car, boss. No, you don't. Stop the gun, Tarotti. Oh, no. Don't, don't hit me again. I, I, I give up. Okay. Okay, you got it. Come on, you rat. You're going in the car, all right. In the police wagon. If that bomb had gone off... It didn't go off, Carlotti. It was a dud. But it was still big enough to blast your crooked racket all over the front page. <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Green Hornet Incorporated. The situations and characters depicted in this drama are fictitious. Any similarity to actual persons or events of the past or present is coincidental.